so if we try to pass other than two arguments the function will give error if you don't know how many arguments that will be passed into your function just add an asterisk before parameter name in the function definition here in the example you are seeing that I have defined a function my function and there is a parameter kids inside my function but this time I don't know how many arguments will be passed into this function so I put this asterisk before the parameter name in my function definition in print statement I have printed the message in the double quotes and the argument number two in the list of arguments pass through my function let us try to run this function I am defining my function when I put parameter I place an asterisk before the name pressing enter and writing the print statement and here putting the kids and writing two here which means it will take the second argument value from the list of arguments which will be passed in my function I have written the print statement pressing enter twice to exit from this uh, definition let's try to call this function I'm passing arguments Krish Monty and Dave pressing enter to see the result you can see here that it has printed div in place of this kids value and the second value because it is counting the values from zero and it will treat div as the second value that's why it has printed div here from the list of arguments like an array keyword arguments you can also send arguments with key equals value syntax this way the order of arguments does not matter because you already defined the value with the corresponding key let's see with an example in my function definition I have taken three parameters child 3 child 2 and child 1 while printing from this function I have taken child 3 that is the specific name of this parameter it will print the value of this child 3 taken from the function call here I have written the same function as discussed in our example with the three parameters child 3 child 2 and child 1 and this child 3 will be printed from these three arguments passed while calling this function I have defined this function now we will call this function with three arguments so let's try it. passing the arguments as a key and value associated with the key I am writing child 1 here and assigning the value Emily for second I am taking child 2 and the value for child 2 is Krish and the third argument child 3 the value for child 3 is Monty I have written these arguments as a key and value you can see the sequence is different from function definition now I am running this it has printed the value associated with the key child 3 which is Monty in our print statement here so this way you can write the keyword arguments as well arbitrary keyword arguments if you don't know how many keyword arguments that will be passed into your function just add two asterisk before the parameter name 
in the function definition. The function will receive a dictionary of arguments and can access the items accordingly. To know about dictionary, you can refer to my video dictionaries in Python if you haven't gone through Python dictionaries before. Let us take an example. If the number of keyword arguments is unknown. This is the example and here is the definition of my function. I have put two asterisk before this parameter kid inside my function and in the print statement I am trying to print his last name is the kid's last name. This is my function definition with two asterisk before the parameter passed which is kid. For kid the passing argument L name should be printed. Let's try to run this. I have passed here two keyword arguments F name and L name. For F name I have taken value Todd. For L name I have taken Smith. Both of these F name and L name are arbitrary keyword arguments. The F name has value Todd and L name has value Smith. When I run this the value of last name associated with this argument set the value associated with L name should be printed. Let's run this. You can see it has printed Smith which is associated with L name. In this way we can use arbitrary keyword arguments in a function. The default parameter value. If we call the function without argument it uses the default value which we have taken in our function definition. For example, in this function definition, I have taken country equals India. It will be treated as default parameter value if this my function will be called without any argument. So the value associated with this parameter will be executed while calling the function without argument. Let's try to run this code. In this function definition, I have taken the parameter country with the value India. It will be a default parameter value if this function is called without parameters. Now I am writing the print statement. I want to print this statement. I am from and the value of the country which will be passed in this function. So my function is defined. Now I am calling this function by passing a parameter. I am writing Sweden here. Pressing enter. You can see when I pass this Sweden it has put Sweden as the value of the country. Now once again I am putting a value Australia inside this function as argument. I am pressing enter. It is giving the value Australia for the country. Now I am calling this function without any parameter. I am pressing enter. It has given the country name as India. This is the default value for this. If you do not pass any value it will take India as a default parameter value. Now we will move to passing a list as an argument. You can send any data type of argument to a function like a string, numbers, list, dictionary, etc. And it will be treated as the same data type inside the function. For example, if you send a list as an argument, it will still be a list when it reaches the function. For example, have a look at this function. I am passing the food which is a data type. I am taking a for loop to iterate through the items inside food and printing each value from this food. 
suppose I have a list named fruits and it is having the values apple, banana and cherry. So when I pass this fruits inside my function, it will return a list of arguments. Let's try to execute this code. This is my function definition. Now I am taking a list fruits having values apple, banana and cherry. Now I am calling this function and passing this list as an argument and pressing enter. It resulted as a list of items carried inside the list fruits. So we can pass a list as an argument inside a function. A function can also return a value. To do this, we use the return statement. For example, while defining this function, I have taken parameter x and this function will return a value of x multiplied by 4. Whenever you call this function, it will always return the multiplication of 4 with the value of x which will be passed as an argument. Let's run the example with the similar code. I have defined the function. It's time to call this function. I am passing 3. When I will press enter, it will give the result 3 multiplied by 4. You can see 3 multiplied 4 will be 12. And this is the result. Once again, I am passing 4 here and it should give the result 16 by returning the multiplication value of 4 into 4. Let's try one more time with argument 5. It will return 5 multiplied by 4. The pass statement. When we declare a function, the definition of the function should not be empty. But for some reason, you have a function definition with no content. You can put a pass statement to avoid getting error. If you do not put the pass statement, it will give error for this function. For example, I have defined my function and I just put a pass statement and no other content. This time it will not give error. Let's try to run this and see what happens. Here I am declaring this function and there is no content inside this function. I am just writing the pass and pressing enter. It has taken this function without content and didn't give any error. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.